Hello classmates, I am Maggie Laferni and today I'm going to talk about a specific passage in Beowulf that I wanted to further explore. One of Hrothgar's speeches to Beowulf has a really significant meaning and I think maybe we're reading it once, you or someone else could not fully understand it. So after Beowulf defeated Grendel's mother, Beowulf seemed really proud of himself and just felt good, so he was ready to tell Hrothgar the great news. Hrothgar wanted to for further warn Beowulf just of things to keep in mind. Um, so this is before, actually, Hrothgar gives Beowulf these special gifts, he delivers a speech that has a very significant meaning to Beowulf and people reading the book as well. Um, but first, we, before we find this meaning, we need to look at the figurative language, and this is line 1724 to 1768 if you want to follow along. So the first type of figurative language was a kenning, and this is in this little passage of part of it, and this is hate honed was the kenning on line 1738. And the next form of figurative language was personification. There are actually a couple. Um, he is kept from the worst until an element of overweening enters him. And the other one that we found was that he indulges his desires. And this was on line 1738. And the, the last and final that I'm going to talk about today is um, alliteration. And there are multiple. Um, and this one is whole world on line 1738 and that was the final figurative language that is in this passage but the overall connection is actually a religious aspect and it's that every day people are tempted by multiple things and have to be aware of the cons consequences of the temptations so there's always going to be some type of failure to drag you down and not let you succeed and that was happening to Babel because he was over o really overconfident and um so these are certain quotes that help me figure out these connections and soon there will follow an illness of the sword to lay you low to bring you down. And the next a quote is that the whole world conforms to his will. He is kept from the worst into an element of overweighting enters him and takes hold while the soul's guard is sentry, draws the ground to distract it, so it's taking over him. But besides the poetry and figurative language, the meaning of this, this specific passage is talking about how effortlessly one can be defeated. God tries to give everyone wisdom and power, but Hrothgar explains that a person, for example, is successful and eventually something will take this person down. So you have to be aware of your successes and your failures and realize that failures can sometimes take over you or you can be too overconfident. So this foreshadows um, the death of Beowulf and how without Wiglaf he wouldn't have defeated um, the dragon and because of his overconfidence. And so that's what I want you to take away from this passage in Beowulf and hope that you can relate this to your life as well. And thanks for watching. Created using Powtoon.